Hello there and welcome to my channel. Hello there and welcome to my channel. My name is Lois, for those of you who don't know me, if it's your first time here, warm and welcome to you and a very warm welcome to my LWL crew in the house. Yes, I don't know why she's looking at, anyway, let's not, let's not pay to get any mind today because she's back and forth, back and forth. She's got a thing about what I've got down here that I'm, guys, don't take that the wrong way. I'm talking about what I've got sitting down here. She's got a thing about it and she keeps going to it. So I'm going to probably have to show it to you straight away. And that's the only way I'm going to get away from it. But um, yeah, I've got a Team U haul for you today. Now, I haven't done Team U for a few weeks now. Well, it's more than a few weeks. I haven't done Team, for, team U for a little while now. But I had an order placed. As you guys know, so I often work with Team U and I also buy directly for myself. So that's just to show you that I like Team U and I work with them and I buy from them. So before we get into the haul, guys, let me do Candle of the Day. <laughs> My candle of the day is this one and it's called, oh my gosh, I can't even see it. Eucalyptus and Clementine. Gosh, I got my glasses, sorry. It's Eucalyptus and Clementine. Now, lovely, fresh scent, especially with the eucalyptus in there. And the crystal Clementine, beautiful. That's my beautiful candle of the day and it really fits in my lovely spring colours. As you see, I've moved candle kind of up there because with this hanging um bouquet of flowers or spread of flowers or arrangement arrangement yeah arrangement of flowers safety first guys candles away from my hanging wisteria now guys that's the first thing i'm actually going to start with now today's haul is full of a little bit of mix and pieces um mix and pieces bits and pieces it's a mixture of bits and pieces yeah i'll get it in a minute guys i haven't been here for like i think was it the bank holiday weekend i wasn't i didn't record and i totally forgot what I'm talking about now. I'm all over the place. But anyway, we'll get back into the swing of it. So, as I said, it's a bit of a mixture here. Um, and it's just one day I was just literally just sitting online and just fiddling away. And there you go. Here we have a haul. So, yeah. <laughs> so guys, before I get into it, now, one of the first thing I must talk to you about is this hanging wisteria, which is so beautiful. Part of my flower arrangement for the spring. Now, this hanging wisteria, I've actually got that from Team U. And what I'm going to try my very best to do is link everything down below so that at least you can click straight into it and you can see the items that I've purchased, yeah? So this is, um, I don't want to take it out of the actual um, bunch, but I will put a picture of, of it. And it's basically one stem of a hanging wisteria. And I've just literally put it into the whole spread. And it's really, really beautiful. It's so nice. I'm actually thinking of getting another couple of stems and probably have the hanging wisteria maybe in my hallway because I think it is such a beautiful realistic looking stem artificial faux stem really really nice I wouldn't say it's for outdoor use but definitely um indoor very very beautiful so moving on in terms of plants now many of you wrote to me when you watched my video um where it was decorate for the Easter and decorate for spring and there was a bunch of flowers in there that everybody was kept asking me about. So I thought I'd show it to you. Again, this came from Team U. And basically, this vase itself came from Team U. So let me take the flowers out. Okay. So that's the vase that came from Team U. Now, cheap and cheerful, nice plastic white vase, very simple. And with the cats knocking things down, that's why I got a plastic one. But it doesn't even look plastic. It looks very realistic with your jute string hanging around it. You can change the string port wherever you want on it. But that, again, is a lovely little cheap and cheerful vase from Timu. But also, what I purchased from them was also stems of flowers. Now, these all came from them. So what I ordered was a bunch of tulips. So let me sort of separate the tulips, and then I can show you what I got. Because it was two different bunches in those um, that are spread of flowers. And that's what I put together just to make my spring bouquet. And what I love about these ones, they're very realistic looking and they don't cost an arm and a leg. Now, that is the small spray that I bought, um, that I put into the, the vase. And they are lovely. You've got them in yellow, you've got them in white, but I bought them. And the thing is, the actual texture of these are weird. Guys, it's weird. It's like a rubber plastic. 
it's a silicon. It's like a silicone. The whole thing is like, it's got a very, if you like to feel things, then yeah, this has got a very strange silicone feel, but that's probably what makes it look more realistic and makes it stand up, kind of, you know, give it that bloom kind of look. But these are a one bunch. And like I said, under, under three pounds, I think it was for this bunch, under three pounds, about two pounds something maybe for this whole bunch. And it looks so realistic. Also, I don't know what these flowers are called, but again, I bought these in a bunch as well. And again, that's how they look. Again, they're like a silicone kind of material, but they look really realistic. And because of the silicone, they tend to stand up really, really well in your display. So they look real. They really do. But that's how they look. And that's the whole bunch that I got. And in there, I got two, four, six, eight, ten. So you're getting ten. Now, guys, I know you know my your flowers better than I do. I don't know what these are called. But as I said, I will link it all down below. And I basically just got both bunches, mixed them all in together with a bit of um, yellow. Again, this is from Team U. All my flowers, I've got these ones are from Team U. And I'll say that again. All these flowers <laughs> in this actual jar are the ones I got from Team U. And I just mixed them all together and made them into such a lovely display, which you guys asked me all about. But I knew that I was going to show it to you in a Team U haul. That's why I hadn't sort of um, told you where they were from at the time of making the video. So moving on, as I said, I've got a real mixture in there. Um, also picked up this spray bottle. Now, this is my second time buying this spray bottle. I've got it from them first time and I've put my olive oil in it. But I also wanted to put a different oil in it, like, like a coconut oil. So I wanted two different, but I'd love the spraying of it. I love the fact that I don't have to add a lot of oil to my foods and I can just, especially in the air fryer, you can just turn your meat over or your fish or whatever it may be, your vegetables, and you can just squirt olive oil or whatever you want to, to remain, you know, the healthy kind of eating style that you want. But yeah, got that little spray bottle, got it in the gold and loving that. So now I've got like a little set, which is really, really cute. Um, also what I picked up there uh let me actually let me show you the clothes that i got yeah got a couple of um clothing items let's just get them down now so the first one that i want to show you is this lovely long line cardigan now i'm sorry guys, everything's just kind of falling here and ticker she's clearly staying out of the way because she saw some clothes but loving this long line yellow card cardigan this is long literally to my ankle but it's so the material is so lovely. It's proper knitted, proper thick, proper fluffy. You can really feel like it's knitted with some quality. Now, I'm loving the fact that, here she goes, I'm loving the fact that it's long line. I'm loving the fact that it's fitting for the spring. And also, I've been looking for a yellow long line cardigan for the longest time. But I'm loving this. It's got pockets on it. And I wore this out over the Easter. And Everybody was complimenting me with this cardigan because of obviously spring colours and everything, but it is really nice. And it's very rare that I found a yellow long line cardi on there. So loving that. Let's just put that on there. Also, guys, this is just something nostalgic for me because um, I don't know if many of you know, but the well, you would know probably because it's been a number one box office hit, which is the Bob Marley movie. And when I saw this on Team I thought, yes. I'll have a bit of this to wear. So I, I did wear this. And um, yeah, it's like it's a, meant to be like a dress. Um, I'm going to keep this because I, lo I love it for the nostalgia of it and obviously my heritage. And yeah, one love, Bob Marley. But I love this. I love the way, I love the colours, I love the style. And this is definitely something I'd be rocking when I go back to the Caribbean. Definitely something I'd be rocking as well. And I'd be rocking it here anyway, in the summer. But loving this. The only thing I'm not crazy about is the scuba diving material. Guys, you know I've talked about it before. I have a thing about this kind of, kind of I don't know what material to call it, but it's a scuba diving. But because of the whole motif on it, I love it. I love it. That's the front. And the back, again, it's got one love on the back. And it's meant to be a dress. But yeah, yeah it's too short to wear it as a dress. Or... Yeah, you, oh, unless you're gonna, but then you wouldn't wear it with boots, long boots, because then it's not really a winter item, unless you wore a long cardigan. I don't know, but guys, fix it however you want to do it. But with trainers, it really works well, really works well. So I am loving that. Now that is a size um, 
4X, I think it is. Just to let you know, I'm a UK 22, 24. Um, and I tend to take 4Xs when I order from places like Shein and Timmy and things like that. The cardigan was, I think, was a 3X because it's stretchy. But this was a 4X in this one. Yeah. And it's also got a zip neck as well. But yeah, loving that. I love it. Love it. I just love nostalgia things. And talking about nostalgia, let me show you these slippers that I got. <laughs> now, guys, a couple of years ago, when I was in Jamaica, um, I was climbing Dunn's River and I didn't have any climb proper slippers to wear in the river. And I went to the bottom and I went to the store to buy the, the slippers, sold out. I was so upset I never got my sliders. But team, you had them. I know they're not the original, guys. I know they're not the original. But when I saw these sliders on team, you, I thought, because I've always said that when I go back to Dunn's River, I want to climb the, the Dunn's River from the bottom to the top. Oh, guys, I'm getting ready. I'm doing my exercises, getting ready for it. Sliders, got me sliders. Loving them. I know they're not the original, guys. I know that. I know that. But, you know, I've always wanted a sliders like that. And I was disappointed that they were sold out when I was in Jamaica. I couldn't get them. But, yeah, I've got my I've got my sliders now. So, moving on. Also, I picked up this dress again. Now, this one is your queen. But, again, this will be worn with trainers and probably some sort of leggings. But, again, what I'm not keen again is a scuba dive material. I didn't do very well on this this kind of the clothing side because it's nice. I love the top, but the fact that it's a scuba dive material puts me off a little bit. However, if you like these kind of thin materials for the summer, then this will be ideal for you. That again was a 4X. Um, yeah, size 4X, I think I ordered that in. And yeah, that's your Queen 07. Right, last but not least. Now, I ordered this dress because I've already had this from Team U, and I love the dress so much. However, um, I got a, a stain on it, and I can't get the stain out. I've tried everything, and I thought, you know what, let's just get another one, because I love the dress so much. It was such a beautiful dress to wear in the summer. However, what I found with this one, ordering this one from Team U, the colouring is not the same. This is more of a, a kind of like dusky rose kind of um Burberry dupe now guys a Burberry dupe this is like a dusky rose whereas the other one was more of the real sort of Burberry colors which is like a beige a, a tan um sort of taupe color but this is more of a dusky rose so again scuba dive material however I didn't mind it so much in, in this print because the print is very fussy and busy but I do love this dress when I got the last time the color is a little bit disappointed because it's not the same type of taupe it is more of a yeah a dusky rose and it doesn't give the right I don't know I don't know but anyway I just thought I'd show it to you anyway guys just thought I'd show it to you undecided about this one because it's not the exact like the one I ordered before from Team U. the color has changed a little bit but that was my dress from Team U. now this is something that I was really excited about these slippers now let me how do I show it to you do I show it to you a different if I do it like this I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Is it that way? No, that way. Oh. Hold on. God, I'll get there in a minute. That way. Right. Here they are. These lovely slippers. Now, you might think, it's, but oh, is their fur is too hot for now. But they're not actually fur on the inside. They're just fur on the outside. But I love them. Now, the thing is, why I've ordered them? Because I've been looking at these on Team U since last year. And every time I went to get my size, they were sold out. And I just love them. They, they're just beautiful. Proper thick bottoms, like when you go outside. But the thing is, you may think to yourself, no, it's just too hot, it's furry, I'm not going to get on with it. But they're not furry on the inside. They've got like a, a they are furry, on a, but not this kind of fluffy furry. It's like a very muted fur line on the inside. And, you know, you can still wear this now. I wear this now. I've got this on the other day. Because I just think they're so cute. They're just so nice. But I do like slip-on in my house anyway. So I really, really like this. So, yeah, got these slippers. But I literally got them. And I'll probably wear them up until it gets really, really hot. And then I'll put them down for the winter. Because I do like them. They are so gorgeous. With the thick bottom. I love it. I love it. But it's just the fact that it's sold out. I was really chuffed to get it. So whether I got it in spring, winter or summer, mate, I was going to get it. Loving, loving, loving it. So moving on. Now, I bought myself some um, cards, thank you cards, from Team U. 
and they look like that thank you cards now there's a little story behind why i bought these cards because i'm starting to um i'm starting to put a lot of my um pre-loved clothes onto vintage and obviously when I, you know, send out my parcels, I do like to put a little note in there, like thanking somebody and also put a little, you know, a little cute kind of, and you know, um, you know, like them um, tumble dry sheets, you put something in there to smell like, oh God, smell something nice and perfume in there. And I like to send my stuff off nicely. So I thought for supporting, you know, I thought I'd get a little thank you card, put something inside there that would kind of thank the person for making the purchase. And that's why I bought a couple of cards from them. I also bought um, a little holder. So this will actually put my business cards in there, my thank you cards. And that will probably sit on my desk so that when I'm wrapping up these parcels and what have you, making sure, because obviously once you've made sure everything's washed and clean and ready to go out, then you've got your little thank you card, you've got your little holder. So everything is on my desk and sorted for me to, you know, pack up, wrap up and post out so i got myself a couple of those along with the holder so guys cheap and cheerful but if you've got like a little you know home office or whatever and you want to set your little bits and pieces up it's a place to look is team you because you'll get so many little officey things on there which are cu quite cute also what i picked up on there were this pack of thank you wrapping um bags now, this is my fault, guys. I didn't measure the size of the bags. That's what they look like. And they come wrapped up like that. So I'm thinking to myself, oh, I've, you know, put my clothing into a thank you bag. This is my fault. When I saw the size of the bags, I bought several packets. But that one's unopened. It will go back. But this one I have to keep because I've opened it. So, guys, what am I going to fit inside here? Which one of my... I can't even fit a drawers in here. Come on now. So this is my fault. So unless I'm sending out something like a pair of gloves or um, a socks or so, nothing's going to fit in the bags. But I do like the bags. So I'm still going to order more bags. Again, this is for my vintage, um, vintage clothes store. So when I send out things that people have purchased, they will get it in a lovely bag. They'll get their thank you card in there as well. And obviously a lovely perfumed note or something. But yeah, I'm going to have to reorder these because it's my fault. My fault. Oh, it matches my nails, guys. This is my fault. I actually um, got the wrong size bags. But make sure that if you are doing any sort of like stationary order, anything like that, guys, you make sure you get the sizing right. This is my fault. I didn't measure. So now I'm going to have to measure the size of bags that I need in order to send out my vintage clothing. Again, with me ordering wrong sizes, guys, I ordered a <laughs> these earrings. Now, let me take it out of the packet so you can see it properly. I'm just like, if I if I didn't know better, I'd just put these on vintage as well. But, you know, it's not good to sell earrings because, yeah, people might think they're worn. It's just not something you sell, is it? So I'm just going to have to put up with it, really, or give it away maybe to a friend. I definitely have not, not put these on. Oh, they fell out the bag. Oh, I thought they were sitting in the box. But there they are. Let me just hold it up to you. I mean, they're really, really cute. But look at the size of it. These earrings. Look, I've got to bring it up close. Now, guys, these earrings, you would not see these on me. It is a waste of time. It is. Oh, that's how small they are. This is a waste of Lois's time. Yeah, tiny. They are tiny. Guys, this would be better off sitting up. I've got one of my ears pierced up there. It's better off sitting up there. But you still can't see because I'm here anyway. So this is a classic case of sizing. Not what I thought they were going to be this small. However, they are a lovely pair of earrings. They're like fine. They're like the sort of fine jewellery. That kind of small style. So probably, to be honest, I will give these away to somebody who likes to wear small, dainty earrings. Um, my daughters and I, we don't wear small, dainty earrings. Um, we're, hoop, we're, we're kind of hoop gals. And I, well, fairly sized hoop gal. So I thought, look, guys, this is sort of, I'm talking about, that's kind of, yeah. And, where, and even then you can just about see it. And if I move around, you'll see it. But this, this would be lost. It would be lost. Yep. So I'm going to give it away. I've got two packets of them, guys. I'm going to give it away because I just, yeah, that's, yeah. My fault, guys. As I said, I should have, um, 
<laughs> I should have measured. But I don't expect to measure earrings. But you know what? To be on the safe side, guys, always measure your stuff. Then you'll know exactly what you've got. So moving on to the next set of things that I purchased. Now, guys, I've purchased this again before. And I've purchased, I'm purchasing them again because I just love them. Now, last year, if you watch my summer last year in Sheehan, I ordered a whole load of plants. Um, outdoor UV ray um, protected plants. Now, faux plants. And these are in bundles. Now, you've got all different bundles. Bundles of four different types of colours, all little, and I love these for my um, my displays in the garden. Really, guys, it makes, I'm not green fingered. I have no luck with flowers, guys. I do not, I do not. But these I love, and you can get them in all different colours. You can order them in bundles of singles or bundles of four or bundles of 12, however you want to do it. This one is probably two, four, six, eight. So it's a bundle of eight. So it's two of each colours. And yeah, loving, loving, loving that. As I said, I will link them down below. They all came together in a complete bag. So now, guys, you know I'm one of, the, one of these people that bags irritate me, but I just like to keep everything together. So when I go to plant everything outside, yeah, but you get them like that, guys, in a bundle, and all your colours are in a bundle like that. So I've got me my, my UV flowers. Also. I got a few of these ones in the yellow and the white as well. And that's what you saw with my East display. These little yellow kind of flowers. You've also got it in the white. Again, so I've got a whole lot of those. More flowers. Again, I've got more in the yellow because I really wanted the spring colours to come through in my boxes. Again, I've got some more in the white as well. And guys, I honestly must say... The ones I bought last year, the colours are still the same colours. They're slightly, you can tell they're slightly weather, weather lawn, weather lawn? Slightly weathered. I don't know if that's the right, but anyway, you know what I'm talking about. They're slightly weathered, but they don't look artificial, guys. Honestly, honestly. And that's why I've gone again to team you. Got myself also some greenery. So this is just plain green. Let me take it out of the bag because it might be reflecting on the, um, in the camera. But again, if you just want to make up greenery in, indoors or outside, but I wanted to make up greenery outside. So I've got a couple bags of the greenery as well. Again, you can have this in between your colours if you want to give it more depth, more thickness. So I'm loving that. And the final set of flowers I got were more of these ones in the white. Again, I said I'll link these down below. These, I think I, I, think I bought these in singles, these ones, because I weren't sure. But these are really, really cute. Really cute to make up your little small boxes. You can make up your window boxes. Or I've made more of a display like I, that sit on the floor. And that's what I wanted to sort of sort of meddle around with this year. And have a little go over it and just do some gardening and some stuff like that. But the flowers in Team U. Especially if you're like me. Guys, I am not green fingered. Although I am going to invest in some lavender and try my hand at that. But until then, until I perfect my non-green fingeredness, then I have to stick with the faux flowers, unfortunately. But team, you do a lot of faux flowers, so many faux flowers, guys, and they really have a nice selection. But be prepared to get a cup of tea, sit down and take your time and give yourself a couple of hours to just say, I'm going to chill. Maybe get a couple of biscuits you're going to dunk on whatever or get yourself a long cool drink or a glass of wine whatever it may be guys whatever's your fancy whatever's your hit and then just sit down and go through and you'll find so many things that you didn't know that you needed that you need and things you didn't even know you want that you want as i say that's team you for you but anyway guys i hope you love my um team you haul or saw some bits that may have inspired you for the spring and um don't forget to click and subscribe put your notifications and i'll see you guys on my very next video take care of yourselves and each other see you all real soon bye you saying bye, Tix? Yeah, she's saying. Yeah. See you later, guys.